usually during QA goes purple month, we try to have some speakers come in and speak to you about the dangers of substance abuse. I hope the middle schoolers remember Ray Lozano, the comedian, and that the high schools remember Chris Heron, the former professional basketball player. Or lately, when our county officials and experts on substance abuse come in and speak to the middle schools and the high schools, I remember the ninth grade as well. This year though, as you know, it's pretty different. I'm spending a lot of time in the shop and I know you're spending a lot of times at home. I'm missing a lot of things and I know you all are as well. I wanted to talk to you about something that you have all participated in over the years. It's called the YRBS, the Youth Risk Behavior Study Survey, excuse me, survey. Every sixth grader, eighth grader, 10th grader, 12th grader takes it every couple of years. I know you all remember uh, taking it. It's given in middle schools and in the high schools all over the country. That Maybe that's why it takes so long to get results. We've been plotting it since 2013, and we wanted to talk to you about some interesting things about Queen Anne's County Schools. Now, all of these study results are just for the high school, and there are about 2,354 kids in Queen Anne's County High Schools in uh, 2018. It's about the same number in middle school. And here's the first one we wanted to share. This is ever used marijuana, and you can notice by that the number in red is the number of students in Queen Anne's County Public Schools who reported, public high schools who reported, no, they weren't interested and they didn't use. That number, by the way, is less than in previous studies, but it's still higher than the state average. Uh, the next one, ever tried marijuana before age 13? That's why your role in helping us with middle school kids making that decision is important. That is a lower number than we had in previous studies and it's exactly the same as the Maryland state average. Third one is the number who currently used or have used marijuana in the last 30 days. Notice the overwhelming numbers say no, still a little bit higher than the state average for that question. Last one's, uh, that what question was it on other studies uh, but you can see most QA students say no, it's still a little bit higher than in uh, the state average. Big tobacco and alcohol are investing in marijuana, hoping to get it legalized. The THC, which is the part that makes you high, is much more concentrated and stronger now than it was. And for every young person, it affects the adolescent brain development in areas like motivation and academics. It's addictive and it's harmful. And since I've been through how that all works, you can see for vapes in red, number of kids that said no, looks like about half have tried. Didn't have any of those questions on the previous studies. And you'll notice that for the first three, we're all a little bit higher. The double arrow for the second question is we're twice as high as the state average. And uh, for ever use the flavoring, um, that's a question we couldn't quantify by numbers. But just remember this, you have young and healthy lungs. Most of you are able to say, no thanks, I'm not interested as the survey shows. But help the younger kids with your actions. You know, COVID-19 is a lung disease and you're the group that stopped smoking cigarettes. So you can be <coughs> have a major role. Think about those flavorings. You think those are marketed for adults or for children? Ah, uh, riding with drivers. Notice the overwhelming numbers are positive. Notice that uh, in most cases, except one, the survey is better than it was in previous years. And then the last two, we are the same as the state average, first drink, binge drinking, notice that's four for females and five for males. Hey, one other thing, just to the side, please don't get caught with a fake ID. The penalty, fake ID, the penalty isn't worth it. And don't hurt somebody you love. 
or think about your family if you would get hurt. And the last slide. Offered, given, illegal drugs on school property. No thanks, I'm not interesting, interested. The overwhelming majority, that's what you said. So, as our last slide, hope to see you in person soon. Talk to the younger kids and be a good role model for them. And thank you all very much. Have a good year. Mm -hmm.